So hello guys. Um, so for the past month, um, I've been working on a system to help uh, small scale businesses and also um, shops to manage their um, their sales and inventory. Okay. So uh, this particular system will help them to manage daily sales uh, and also their product. Okay. So uh, we have two users. We have the admin and also the employee or sales rep okay so let me quickly run the system and let's take a look at the um, the interface and also the functionalities so first of all we will log in into the admin section Yeah, so we have the inventory section over here. So on this section, um, we have the various inputs for, for uh, a user or the admin to add product to the system. To add product, to add product to the system. Okay, so we have the various um, buttons over here like add item, update, and also remove item. So we can search for a product over here to as well so we can search for um, let's take a look at uh, collodium all right so yeah collodium is here we can change update the quantity to maybe 15 updates so as you can see how the quantity gets to go to 15 you can also remove an item from the list so we have uh, let's search for items removed from the list um, like um, magazine or you can remove so we say do you want to um, remove a product from inventory so let's select yes and that particular product is being removed from our table all right so yeah so that's it so and uh, here too we have um, the summary of the financial or uh, the financial status of the business so we have the a total stock you have the total cost price total selling price and also the gross profit all right let's move on to the sales section here too so here too we have um we have a sales record from the first day up to date okay we have sales record from day one up to date so you can search for a particular day a sales was being made by date so we can search for uh, 6 January 2023 and see we have all the, they have a date here and we have all the products that were being sold on, on that particular date yeah let's reset it okay so we have a button here saying uh, view today's sales so when you click on it you have um, a, a bill of ongoing sales so sales made within the day so as you can see we have the cashier here we have the um this the the shift we have the date we have the time and so since we don't have uh, any sales at the moment they're not making any sales at the moment so there's no product here okay so yeah we have the profile section over here to as well we have the profile section here whereby we have the username the password and um, account type all right so we can also update the user we can change um, the user type or something okay we can also change the password okay you can also add a new user so uh, choose a username and create password yeah okay so that is for the profile to as well you can delete a user too from this section Let's move on today. Let's come back to the dashboard. So you have the dashboard over here. So on top you have a um, summary of total stock, and also uh, we have total stock price. We have item that will expire within the next six months. So when you click on the button over here, you'll be able to see all those items. Also here we have items finished goods like a uh, finished goods. 
So when you click on the button here to also see those finished screws over here. All right. So uh, under it too, we have um, um, customer purchasing trend, customer purchasing trend. So we have, um, so the description is saying drugs versus a quantity sold for the past 30 days. Okay, for the past 30 days. So this is more like, um, it's, it's give us an insight about uh, uh, products that have been sold for the past 30 days, the top 20 products. Okay, so we have the quantity over here and have the product name over here to us for. Well. So in, 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 in the, for the sake of this demo, uh, I'm using the local pharmacy um, data. Okay, yeah. All right, so that is for the admin section. Let's quickly go to the employee or sales rep section to also take a look at the functionalities over there. Okay. So let's log in. So it's saying welcome the user. So this is just uh, some fancy stuff, it's not really necessary. Alright. Okay. So we have um we have a uh, um so here we are we are on the um the invoice section. So the invoice section. Okay, so we have the table, invoice table the invoice table over here so whereby uh, the the sales rep or the employee can access for a product like um uh, any products yeah have a false syrup and also add the quantity and also select so quantity like two and also select the payment method like uh, uh like a uh, momo so um we can add a customer name like says the phone number let's use some random number over here so add to cut so you saying product is out of stock so let's change the product and see paracetamol all right and let's add to stock so as you can see how paracetamol being added to what our Cut over so we can hold um after that so this particular sense you contain invoice for a particular customer so after making that invoice you can just you can just try close um this particular section over here so it says make an invoice do you want to make invoice yeah so so nothing successful because okay so here so um when you want to see uh agenda that you've sold for the for the day because you can make um multiple invoice okay you can have another invoice like um uh, maybe so uh times or times or like three so cash the name john and also phone number okay so add uh, those one to cast too so you can also make invoice for this one too as well then so when you want to see all the invoice you've made for the for a particular day go towards the sales daily sales section over here so you see all those information over here okay you see all this information so now it's here at the end of the day you can close sales you can close sales all right, so you can just click on it to place those. Also, we have um, we have the uh, description over here saying um, cash payments, which is this figure, and also we have another payment method payment also, which is this figure. So we have the total here to us for yeah. So we can do what we can close sales. So he's saying, do you want to close sales? Yes. So sales close successfully. So. Yeah, uh, bill is being generated. So this particular bill will be saved on our machine. To be saved on the machine in the form of documents. So we can assess it anytime in case you want to do some auditing. Yeah. So that's it. Uh yeah. So we have the product section over here to whereby you can see all the avail available products. And also so of course maybe um the customer or 
want to buy a product and you don't actually know the price, you can come here and search. The employee can come here and search for the product, like um, Citro. So we have the Citro C over here, so you can see the price over here. Okay. All right. So yeah. So if with this dashboard, it looks the same as the admin dashboard here over here. So give you an overview of of the of the shop or the the yeah the, the business yeah so we can log out for the system so yeah so um yeah so this this uh this this is just a demo so as i was saying it's it's to help small scale business and also um shops to manage their sales and inventory okay so maybe if you're a developer and maybe you want to also um have access to the source code and also build on top of it you can um, message me or send me an email so that uh, we discuss about it okay so we also if you're also a small scale business who also want to um, make use of it too that's fine yeah so yeah so that's it that's it um it's it's, it's I use uh, I use Python Tekinta, yeah. I use Python Tekinta for it. Okay, so we can use on both ports, Mac OS and also uh, Windows. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. If uh, you need any answer or something or have any question, you can send me. I will leave my details and handles uh, in the comment section or in the description. You can just uh, hit me up for any um, discussion. All right, thank you.